So once we get on, now I'm going to wait for him on flexing before I get on there. So once we're on, we want to get softness from up here also. Now, this is a great tool for checking if your horse is there or not. It's kind of like picking up the telephone. If you pick up the telephone and you hear a dial tone, then you know it's okay to make a phone call. But if you pick up a telephone and there's no dial tone, you want to try and make a phone call because you know it's not going to work. So getting softness is like that dial tone that we need before we try and ask our horse to do something. So this is how you get it. You pick up on your reins, and what you want to have happen is that his head goes down. So real soft, I pick up on the reins, there, and I release, because he put his head down, and I pet him. For the horses that want to brace and throw their head up, you got to start out even softer. So be a real soft, real subtle. There. It's a little bit difficult here because he's wanting to eat the grass. He already wants to put his head down. <laughs> so the key to this is as you're holding your reins, if their head goes up, you have to raise your hands up with their head. Because if he was to raise his head up and I kept my hands down, he's going to give himself slack in the reins and he's going to have a release there and it will teach him to put his head up. So if he raises his head up, then I would raise my hands up with him. Once you're able to pick up on the reins and his head goes down, like there, then we're going to introduce using our legs too. Why do we want to use our legs for softness? Well, a lot of times horses are trained that you, we only use our legs when we want to go faster. Well, the way that they're going faster might not be a very soft way. So if we teach them to get soft from our legs, then when we use our legs to go forward or to go sideways, they're going to do it in a soft way. So here I'm bumping with my legs for softness and I'm waiting for him. Right there, I stop and release. Put his head down. All the other things that he's doing, backing up, I just ignore that because that's just not the right answer. So here again, I bump with my legs. Waiting there. See how he dropped his head? And I pet him and release. A lot of times when you first start with this, they want to go forward. So make sure that you have your hands set on your reins. And since you already taught him that when you pick up on the reins, his head will go down. So that when he wants to go forward, you just stop him with your hands. And he will drop his head and stop. So let's say he wanted to go forward. There. See, he dropped his head and I released. It's all about timing. You won't get it right away, but keep practicing and you will get better to feel that you have to develop. That both of you and your horse have to develop. So once you get them to where you can drop their head with your legs, so here I'm waiting, there. Add them, release. Now I can use this as I'm walking. So I'm out here riding my horse and I want to get him soft. I'm going to pick up on my reins, bump with my legs, and then as soon as he drops his head, I'm going to release. There. I give him a pet. Now, sometimes they'll want to stop, sometimes they'll want to go faster. Just adjust how much bumping and how much pulling on the reins you do to adjust for the speed. This is what it looks like at a little bit of a gate. And right there I release. Now 
takes a lot of coordination. So practice at the stop a lot. Then at the walk. When you get it at the walk, then you get it at the pace. Then continue up through your gains. Once you're able to get it, see we can get it up at the faster gates and incorporate it into our stops. You see how I waited? He wanted to throw his head. I waited until he dropped his head down and I released. Right there. That was a better stop that time. He didn't throw his head as much. And I backed him up, waited for him to drop his head as I was backing him up. There's a question asking about if this is suppling. Yes, this is suppling. I want him to feel good in my hands. I want him not to weigh very much so that when I use my reins, when I bend him around, he weighs as much as the rein would weigh. If I was just picking up on the rain. If he weighs more, I know there's resistance in there. I'm going to go back to the one rain stop real quick. A little rain management. It doesn't matter if you're riding two handed or one. But as you're riding along, As you're riding along, you're going to put both your reins in one hand, then take your free hand, slide it down as close to the bit as you can. See how I'm pulling with my right hand? There, he's backing up because I've got pressure on the rein, so it's okay. So I slide down, and then I bring my hand back to my hip. And my right hand goes on his neck. Why does it go on his neck? Because if I have my hand high, see he's backing up, he feels pressure on the reins. So I just have him flexed around. Put the other hand on his neck. There. And having the one hand still holding the reins, my left hand, I can release very fast by just dropping with my right hand. So I'm going to show you at a little faster speed what that looks like. So here, both my hands are on hand. Flex them around. See him crossing his hind legs. And then I release. That's the emergency stop. The one rein stop. That's what you use when your horse doesn't feel comfortable, when you don't feel comfortable, when you need a chance to just kind of start over again. There's a question wanted me to show it again. So here I go out again. 